mm-hmm. but whatever I, I just think it's a really shitty cold but yeah even though there was a couple of times like when I took my temperature I was up I was like at 101 and shit oh, wow. I mean now I'm at normal you know but it was like man what the fuck do I have but either way I went out the few times I stepped outside actually I only stepped out once I went to Dollar uh, I went to fam- the big lot and uh, yeah I-, I saw that they had the old Robocop oh <laughs> it was like a director's cut or something like that yeah it was, two di- it was like one one disc had the the theatrical uh-huh. release and the other one had the uncut release like the full uncut oh damn and I'm just sitting here thinking like full uncut bitch I remember that movie being fucked up as it was <laughs> <laughs> you've intrigued me <laughs> right no I gotta pick this bitch up so I pick- Picked it up and they're making fun. You know they're kind of poking fun at themselves a little bit, like not so much at RoboCop because what I mean, like, uh, but like the whole that whole that whole the whole 80s period where mm-hmm. like, and I think I put up a status about it, like you know uh, what's it called toys to- toys being made from gratuitously violent <laughs> movies and cocaine. This must be an 80s movie or some shit like that. <laughs> but that's all I could think of the whole time, like you know. It not it wasn't even just RoboCop. They had toys for like fucking Commando, <laughs> fucking Rambo. <laughs> oh, I, I had Rambo toys. Yeah, I, did I know too, I did. Man. I, I had a I, com- I had a Commando toy. I think I did too. Yeah, and, and I had a couple of RoboCop toys. I had and, shitloads of GI Joes and all right? those, you know. And I said, and I, I had a couple of Terminator uh, toys too, man. Later on, that's like a little bit later on. But yeah, like, yeah. I'm sitting here thinking. I'm like, you know what? I I haven't really, I, and I haven't forgot about it, but it didn't really dawn on me how hardcore that bitch was, like, and how truthful that was. Back when we were kids, rated our movies, fucking listen. No, nothing. Make, yeah, rated our, rated our action movies, let's make toys for the kids. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we had, like, restrictions on, like, movies as much as kids do nowadays. No, nah, man. And and them kid and them movies like what's it called? It wasn't even just the violence and shit like that. They they, they showing titties left and right. <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas doing drugs and shit. <laughs> Let's make a toy for kids. Because <laughs> I know I saw Commando real young. Let's stuff them bitches in Happy Wheels <laughs> and do like the toy kids. Hi guys, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger's the Commando. <laughs> I'm hey, gonna you. shoot the man with the penis. Here's a toy. <laughs> Look at the pedophiles! You used to suck on them as their lessons. <laughs> <laughs> well, even like like Robocop, I know I saw that young too. Yeah. Like, fuck! I can tell you, I saw that at a drive-in. Yeah, and, I uh, rented Robocop. I, I took that bitch home to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never seen it. Uh, drive-in. Yeah, I mean the first movie I never, the first movie I saw finally in theaters was uh, Batman Forever. Oh damn! This is you. You can't see it, but I bowed my head in shame. <laughs> damn. Yeah. <laughs> and I liked it actually. The first time I saw it, I was. I don't know. I think a lot of people did. They just don't want to admit it. Yeah. No. I mean, no. I ain't gonna, like shortly after that when it came out in, on VHS and I rented it and went to see it again. I was pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> I admitted it openly. I was like, "Yeah, I like," and I was a kid. Yeah. And I'm like, I remember even saying, "Yeah, I liked it when it was in theaters, but now after watching it a second time, this movie sucks." <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell did I rent this shit? <laughs> I want my four dollars back. <laughs> I'd rather rent Jason takes my hat in again. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hear that story, you need to go back to yeah, exactly. People in Hell Had Good Intentions podcast <laughs> episode. <laughs> but no, uh, no, no, but yeah, just really think about it. And then, like, you think, and then you, like, uh, going out to the, how, how it is now and shit like that. And fucking A, man. People trip out on everything when it comes to, like, their kids and shit. Mm-hmm. To the point where it's just fucking ridiculous, man. You know, honestly, let your kids get smacked around from life a little bit, man. Fuck. That's only gonna make them better yeah. in the sun sense. Let them, let them get, let them grow a pair, man. Let them scrape their fucking knee, man. Yeah. Shit. Well, like even look at like um, playgrounds nowadays. They have the wood chips down. Did he, I was about to say, do they even have playgrounds still? I mean, well, they, they do, but it's like you know, I know I'm just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> these wood chips down, like you, when you and I were growing up, it was like concrete. Yeah. Black top and. You know, but really think about it, man. Them wood chips ain't even going to protect anything either, oh, man. Oh, no. Fuck. You're just going to get splinters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dumbasses. And I've seen some, though. They have the little fucking rubber shavings. They only have mm-hmm. wood chips. 
They have rubber and shit. Yeah, because they probably figure out, hey, we'll get splinters. Yeah. Let's put rubber down. And then they made the, they, 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 what's it called, like, uh, and a lot of the playgrounds now, they're not even metal anymore. They're like fucking plastic Classic and shit. Classic bullshit, yeah. yeah they, I mean, nothing you know, was better Exactly, than... like you said, man. Back when we was kids, them playgrounds were fucking metal. steel, steel and, steel and cement. <laughs> 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 like your fucking Voltron toys. <laughs> steel and cement. Because <laughs> if you didn't fucking hurt yourself on the fucking concrete, you're going to burn the shit out of yourself on the nope. fucking uh, steel uh, slide. Yeah, because like on the little th- contractions where it was all about balance and stuff, nothing taught you to keep your balance better than fucking cement. Like, <laughs> my fall, I'm going to split my goddamn skull open. <laughs> Feel like you're on the, you're feeling like you're, you're Sylvester Stallone in Cliffhanger. Up and, Don't look down. <laughs> Don't look down. Because <laughs> our, our, yeah, our playgrounds were like torture devices from like Kung Fu movies. I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> That's what I felt like at times, man. Like there was some old like Asian dude like sitting at the bench with a smoke and a pipe. <laughs> you will learn kung fu else. <laughs> you will learn the ancient style of drunken baboon fist. <laughs> we shall get your balance. <laughs> oh, you want to learn my style? I don't know why I made him sound fucking. Habibi-ish. <laughs> you want to learn of my style? <laughs> there, there it is, Asian now. <laughs> Jesus, man. They didn't give a fuck about it. <laughs> like parents then, you're like, ah, just get the fuck out for a little while. Pretty much, man. Leave me alone. And now you have people like babying their kids. To... Oh, God, man. I mean, I, I, I said it as a joke a lot of the times, like, you know, when I have kids, I'm going to dump them off in the woods, and if they can't make it back to my house, then I'll raise them and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm for real now, though. Not the whole dumping them off in the woods, but, like, I, I'm, that's my vow, man. I'm not going to baby I'm not gonna baby my kids like the rest of these motherfuckers be doing. If I ever do have a kid, they're going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be in counseling. Yeah, I'm going to run them rough as fuck. Not rough as fuck, but man, I ain't going to coddle them, man. Shit. Mm-hmm. Life ain't going to coddle you, man. Hell no. Like, man. Hell no, I won't. Hell no. I'm going to go out my way to get in the old school Voltron toys, for one. Ah, oh, dude. Everything was, was fucking was awesome. metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many of those got we threw at each other, my brother and I. <laughs> right? I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what, that was one of my fights, man. I had a Voltron toy in my book bag, man. I beat a kid's ass with that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was the yellow one. It wasn't even like the he- the biggest, heaviest oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you. Bow! <laughs> Hit right in the kidneys with it. I ain't give a fuck. <laughs> my wallet. Anyway, but nah, man, like. Yeah, and just going back to the movie thing, though, like, yeah. I, I, it just seemed like if they could make a toy out of it, they were going to do it. Oh, just hell to yeah. fucking get more money. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that was, they, that was, that was us. I don't Dude. remember it as much in the 90s that way. They did, to a point, but certain ones, though. They did it yeah. with more of the action movies. Okay. Like the sci-fi action movies, they would do it more with. Because, what's it called, Alien, they had toys. Yeah, but I consider an alien, more alien, aliens more like eighties than they do nineties. No, but the later ones like Alien Resurrection or whatever. Okay, yeah, like, yeah, they, they had toys and shit. That's true. That's true. And then, like I said, Ter- Terminator, Terminator Two. Oh yeah, that's, that's where the very toys true. came out of. Yeah, you know. And the, <laughs> and those were fucking well. I don't know about the alien because I know there was a couple PG thirteen yeah. alien movies. Well, that's another one. You know what? That is like something I want to talk about. In some sense, this still goes along with what we're talking about right now. Because I, I was just like, you know, between one of my spurts is being up for a little bit and stuff, mm-hmm. and I jumped on YouTube, and they were talking about like the whole reason behind like PG and PG thir- the rating system mm-hmm. and how it needs to be redone, redone. again, yeah. be- again now, because like the whole point for PG thirteen was. To make it edgy enough to kind of open up the audiences, the mixed audience. It's mm-hmm. like, okay, it's, it's edgy enough to where it's not R, but it, it's still 
what's it called? It's basically for teenagers and shit. Because mm-hmm. I mean, I, I remember what's it called? Like when I was looking at it, and then they started bringing up the facts and stuff. And I forgot there was a lot of movies that were PG thirteen. When PG thirteen came out, they had like fucking nudity in it and shit. And other crap. And then uh, nowadays, it's like, man, you, you wouldn't get away with it. Oh, hell no. You know? Yeah. And, uh, as soon as they see, like, even the slip of a nipple, boom, that's where you are, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> they were just, t- the dude was just talking about, I don't remember the guy's name. I wish I could, like, actually just dra- name drop him. That way, you know, this to get, that way other people could look it up, too. But he brought up a bunch of good points and stuff. And well, we can look it up and post it on the yeah, Facebook true. page. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure if I, you know what, I'll just do it right now anyway, just because we're on. You know, because I could just go through my history. You know, it, it, it was probably, and I haven't watched YouTube that much since I've been up today. It was like one of the last things I watched last night before I went, to, before I passed out indefinitely. History, 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 fucking fun. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, here it is. What the fuck go. happened to PG? Gremlins. Shut oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> um. Good Bad Flicks. Good Bad YouTube. Flicks on YouTube. Yep, and the title of the video is called What the Fuck Happened to PG? Or WTF uh, Happened to PG-13. Okay, well, yeah. we'll, we'll share it to the... Yeah, and we'll share it either way. But not, um... Like I said, he brought up a b- bunch of good points and stuff like that. I mean, like, some movies are... Their purpose is, honestly, and because of the subject matter and everything else, there's no way to make it but rated R. Mm-hmm. And like even how then later on when the when the censors in a movie, what's it called, movie companies themselves and stuff like that start fucking it up because they just want it to be greedy yeah. and opening up to more audiences and shit like that. Well, no, let's make it PG-13, mm-hmm. you know, and we'll cut. And then how, how some movies were even like potentially good got fucked up only because of the rating system mm-hmm. and then they turned into shit movies. He mentioned a couple of horror movies that are like, you know, like, and recent ones too I can't remember what they were called anymore but like some of them were like what's it called they had to cut so much crap out to make it PG-13 to make it PG-13 that like at the the, the, the finished pod they didn't even make sense yeah, <laughs> yeah. because they had to put so much crap they had to cut so much crap out thus to lower the rating system because the the the, the, mo- the, uh, the, the movie company wanted yeah. to be PG-13 and say rated R because they wanted to try and bank out more mo- bank out more money from uh, people coming in and stuff yeah well yeah. I mean Kind of a running gag nowadays on this podcast is me making fun of Batman versus Superman. The right. same thing happened there. Yeah, no, you know, true. they originally was gonna they they made it so look it was originally rated R, and then yeah. they had to cut so much of it out to make it PG thirteen. So and re, then they reshoot they a lot re, of it too. Yeah, then they. Oh uh, no, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. Well, they, I think they, they reshot re- some of. Uh, they always reshoot movies. Yeah, true. Um, but then they like, they released. Uh, the uh, ultimate edition of of uh, Batman vs Superman, and that's rated R. That yeah. has like the stuff that they cut out. That's what's so. up. No, and it mentioned he mentioned that too in there. Oh, they'll, they'll purposely do it too to mm-hmm. the bank even after it's like oh, yeah. out of theaters. This the fucking now it's like oh we yeah. have the unlimited yeah. version, unrated version. Come watch unrated version version this week here here here. <laughs> Made it sound like a monster truck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Come see the ultimate edition. Grave digger. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, in, in a lot. Of, I mean, Star Wars is known for that too, though. Like where they'll, uh, yeah, where George Lucas will release like a standard edition, then a special edition, and then uh, I promise you, I'm not going to mess with any more edition. Yeah, you know, like just redoes a little bit the pieces. Doesn't change the rating, but you know, it's just like that. You know how many? How can we milk it more? Yeah, exactly. Get more money. You know. No, but I mean, it's just like man, that, that you know, um, this is shame that they're doing that. And then, like, honestly, they had. I mean, what's it called? The whole bluff on lease on that one was the main point was like they need to re, they need to relook at the standard of. They need to redo the whole rating system yeah. again, and really, you know look at everything because like you know when he was showing like some of the rated, rated, rated PG-13 movies there was some movies I forgot oh yeah that was rated PG-13 you know and then there was other rated PG-13 movies like I said they were showing full frontal and stuff like that I'm mm-hmm. like dude and like nowadays they would be oh my god like one scene we're alone would just be like, oh it's already R now yeah. period yeah. Ah, it's like dude it's, it's PG-13 it's you know mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean it's rated PG-13 and shit you know uh, chill the fuck out yeah <laughs> 
And just like I said too, man. And like I said, when it comes to like kids shit and stuff, they're, you know, they're 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 calling, you know. And I, I get the whole thing. Like they're doing it. They also do. They also get that hardcore on the rating system for the kids. Blah blah blah. 